Welcome back guys to Crypto for Light channel. Today we would like to talk about EFO Gaming. Also, we will double check the S&P 500 price chart and Bitcoin. Are we going down or up? And I showed you the most important dates for uh, September, which you have to add into your calendar because on this date, we definitely will see the high volatility on the market. And before I start on the chart, I would like to show you my second channel. Crypto for Light Market, all educational, totally for free videos will be on Crypto for Light Market channel and price prediction, technical analysis and day trader vlogs and review of coins with my series, should you buy this coin or not, uh, will be on Crypto for Light channel, the main one. Historically, you should know that September is uh, mostly in the red zone, but maybe this time September will be different and October will be red, but we will see how it goes. So just keep in mind this post on my Telegram channel. If you didn't join it, I highly recommend it. So this K upcoming dates to watch, uh, you can make a retweet from my Twitter, from this guy. So uh, September 13, CPA data, September 15, Ethereum merger. So a lot of people start thinking uh, the all crypto market is dump, but I don't think so. It will happen because I think all dump already included in price. Once again, 15 or 16 September MDGOX claims deadline because the first one claims it was just a rumor and the fake news. September 21, it's most important dates. It's a phone rate hike decision, but I think all this dump already included in price and I will explain you an S&P 500 chart. And September 22, Cardano was still hard work. So just add this all days in your crypto calendar and you can expect the big volatility in the market. Let's jump into S&P 500 chart. So look, I think I think we uh, I just a little bit changed the downtrend channel and I think we draw the channel in correct way. We can switch to lines and double check. So impulse correction impulse. Usually downtrend channel can break out in upside. I don't think so. We will see the move like this one. No, usually it play like that. And now, like I show you in my videos, we already made a correction 23. And the last stage where I can expect S&P 500 at this level, zero minus 0.86 level, 3K and 610. This is a, my total worst case scenario for S&P 500. Because I don't think so, we will see the 35% uh, dump like in, in the COVID dump. Maybe something external ordinary can happen and we will see this. But in general, look how it goes. We enter in channel, test it, test it once again. Here is support zone. Try and breaking out the resistance, reject, trade in the middle line. Don't touch, don't even touch the re resistance level. Drop it down and find a support once again. This FIB still in play. Look how it perfectly play this FIB. So here's the top and we touch exactly zero minus point uh, zero seventy eight level by FIB. Then we bounce it and find the rejection exactly at zero point twenty three level by FIB. And it's the top of the channel. Now we going down and find a support at minus 0.38 level by FIB. And it's almost the middle line of channel. I don't think so we will touch this line around 3K and 800. But look, if we use the candles, you can see the reaction. So probably our channel is drawing right and the FIB drawing right. So look, it's a regular channel. And here's a hack and ash accounts. It's really important level for buyers. So what we can expect now on S&P 500 and it will affect the price on Bitcoin. I think we will drop it down on Monday to this level, test once again and bounce it at least to 4K once again and trade some time in this area before the, this Ethereum merge and forms right hiking. Then after this, because uh, if we will see the negative news and phones definitely increase the rate, I think we will uh, see the dump once again. That's why we have to pump before. So all news, including price. That's why we have to pump and then dump again. Or we dump again to uh, this level once again, 
or to test middle line of this channel. Then we can trade something like this one and test once again. I don't think so. We will drop and break it down and test once again support line of this channel. No, I think in the most worst case scenario, most positive scenario, let's start with positive scenario. I think we can pump it, trade in the sideways a little bit and then go like this one. And around December or January, we can make it out of this channel and retest it above. And from the beginning of January, we can start the new move up. In most uh, worst case scenario, we can move like this one. Go in the sideways, reject once again and capitulate to middle line to our target. It's minus 0.86 level by few. This will be the capitulation around December. And from December, we go in the sideways and climb it up for next cycle. How it can affect the Bitcoin? Uh, look, we are in the downtrend, but still forming the higher lows. This still forming higher lows. And look, uh, we tested few times trend line, up trend line. Next trend line is uh, around 8K. I don't think so. We will drop it down to 8K, but we have to be ready for this scenario. And like I showed you, emotionally, I'm not ready for this scenario to drop to 8K. And look, in the local FIP, if every uh, meeting, including price, I think uh, my scenario was uh, we have to reach 27K, but in this case, now uh, I don't think so we will reach this level. That's why if all this meeting and all this uh, hype, including price, we can probably see the drop in Monday on Bitcoin to this level, 19K and 700 to test 0.78 level by FIB. And after this, we can came in back into this uh, trend line and test the uh, resistance line. Resistance line, we can test around 11 September before the, all this uh, hype with Ethereum. We can make a move like this one. A lot of people open long position and we will maybe go in higher than 25, just going out of this downtrend line channel and then reject once again to 20K, to 20K uh, in October like I showed you before. And now we can liquidate all short position with 26% pump, like this one, and then liquidate once again long position to shake out all market, but hold the line of trend line and start climbing up by this trend line like this. So usually play like this one. Trade some time here and then breaking out the uh, 30K. So this is the most possible scenario for Bitcoin. If, if we reject once again here at 20K or 21, yes, we can go in much, much lower to the next trend line. That's why we have to pay attention for these days and we have to pay attention for S&P 500 moves. So let's jump into UFO Gaming. Do you remember when I made my first video about UFO Gaming, what the graphic they got? and how it looks, how weird it looks. But this coin uh, raised a lot of followers, a lot of trustful community. Look the graphic now on this game, you know? Even it's a scam, even it's a, just a pump and dump coin. They work hard on their product and they uh, make a partnership and start to make a live session with big communities like NEO coin. So it's really important to, for communication and the partnership between the communities and the blockchains. Uh, also, they already signed the lounge the staking. Here, here's also the graphic of this coin. Uh, signed the lounge the staking platform. They already stake it one trillion UFO tokens. It can play the good for a uh, price, you know, in the future. Really soon they lounge the uh, mint your UFOGs for the game. You know, so they start uh, step by step, uh, bring some utilities. And I think uh, when they launch the dark metaverse, this launch pad platform, uh, this coin can blast off. Yes. So I'm still believing in UFO gaming, even we didn't know the founder. <laughs> this is not a founder, you know, it's just a meme, but we will see how it goes. So let's jump into the price chart for price chart for UFO gaming. Look, this most important zone now locally seller zone so this is a seller zone 
it's around 27 level of FIP. This is the bottom, here's the top, and we come back exactly to 0 0.61 level by FIP. Usually it's more than enough uh, to uh, finish the correction. If Bitcoin going down on a Monday, next stop where I will open my position on a spot for UFO gaming, it will be this price. 0.78 level by FIP, 0.5019. In this case, I will open my position on a spot with a target around this area, 27 zone. It can be, from current price, 273% profit on a spot. So this is my target for for gaming because this level, like you saw, it usually play like a strong sellers zone. So we are breaking out, retest, make a fake out, Retest once again, test as much as possible. We test this level as more chances uh, we got it uh, become weaker, you know, and we make it less fake out and breaking out this level. So now I think we will go up and start testing as much as possible this seller zone, you know, breaking out with retest and this zone will become the buyer's area, the support zone in next, maybe in October. If the September will be red, I think we can pass this seller zone, local seller zone in October with retest and hold the line, it cut one zero. So 0 0.401, it will be the main support level for now. That's my local trades for UFO gaming. And uh, in most worst case scenarios, yes, of course, if Bitcoin dropped to uh, 10K, we can go in down add one zero and hold the line around 1.61 level by feet. But honestly, I think it was the bottom for UFO gaming. According to our plan with the head and shoulder pattern, what I draw in my previous video for UFO gaming. This is my local target for UFO gaming and the next seller zone will be around here. If the market make a reversal move, we will see the new trend and this will be the next seller zone. Uh, around 0 0.402 from the current price next if we pass this seller zone next step will be around 1k profit you don't need to draw a lot of lines you don't need to draw a lot of metrics on the chart because now everything depends of geopolitics everything depends of energy in europe about the gas in europe and uh, mostly all market now look on a foams decision increasing the rate S&P 500 and uh, all altcoins just to follow the Bitcoin and Bitcoin just to follow the S&P 500. So guys, everything pretty simple. Just uh, follow the steps of smart money. Thank you for watching. Subscribe channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification button. And don't forget, join my Telegram channel. There I can share all my ideas faster than on YouTube. See you next time, guys.